And another one of my favorites, the inflatable wavy arms guy. Look at an inflatable grandma. I told you to stay away. Oh my God. <laughs> what are those? All right, guys, today I am in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. What in the world is a Woon? No matter, because we are at a Spirit Halloween, and this place looks awesome. Look, this is the first Spirit I've ever been to that's actually in a corner building. At first, I thought this was an old Lawson's or something, but I bet you anything, it used to be a drugstore. And what was with that crazy hairpin turn off the highway? It is not easy driving this monster boat around these little towns. Let's go in. Woonsocket. You're on. And as expected, right up front, we have Mr. Howell. All right, let's get him rolling here, guys. Everybody loves Mr. Howell, including me. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure that he said, I wouldn't suck it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Wooden suck it. We're moving over here, and we got the night crawler. Let's hit him. Here he comes. I just watched a live video the other day of Brick Thunder putting together the Nightcrawler. It was absolutely insane. I don't even want to try it myself. I would be growling too if my teeth were so dirty. I think you need a little brushy brush. All right, let's get Sam rolling here. I've only seen one store where he had the alternate head. I don't know why that is. Is the other one harder to put on or something? And he never has anything in his bag. Okay, Mr. Sam, we heard you. Let's hit up Wacky Mole here. Hello, Mr. Mole. Come on now. Come on. Here we go. Uh-oh. No lights. No moving. But he does have sound. Let's listen. I don't know about you guys, but when I see his teeth, it makes me want to eat candy corn. That doesn't mean I want to kiss him. That just means I want to get my own bowl of candy corn. <laughs> All right, let's take a stroll back here, see if they have any other animatronics set up. Wow, this is actually a pretty big store in here. I didn't expect this. I saw something back there that I haven't seen before, but we'll come back to it. I like how this store is set up with little segments to go back in and then back in there and then back in there. Okay, is there anything? No, that's just a warehouse door or something. Okay, let's keep on looking. There might be more or maybe not. Okay, I don't see any more set up, but I do see a whole bunch in boxes around the floor. So let's look at those. We have the always awesome Harvester of Souls right here. I'm still cracking up about the one I saw in Salem where she was blowing the smoke like over his head. Okay, and then we got a Wraith over here. I would love to see him set up in one of these stores actually. And he is surrounded by sitting Scarecrow. Oh look, and we got a Hauntress down here too. I don't think I realized that the Hauntress is only 130 bucks. That's pretty cool. Of course, we got the jumping spiders. We got a brown one and a black one. And I don't see the black and red in this stack. I thought I saw a whole other stack of jumping spiders somewhere in here, but apparently not because I can't find them now. But I do want to go back here and check out this little cove back here. I love this store. They have all kinds of coves. Here's the Mask Cove, the Haunted Mask Cove. And then, oh, look at this. I, okay, I didn't notice this in other stores, guys. Maybe it's there, but I haven't been looking. Look at this creepy looking clown up here. And then over on the other side, we have the creepy, scary pumpkin. <laughs> Maybe those have been in other stores and I just haven't noticed them because I've been so focused on everything else, like the Halloween Kills mask. Somebody asked me to do a Everything Michael Myers in, uh, in the Spirit Halloween, and I think somebody actually put this back in the wrong place. They probably picked it up, put it on, wore it around the store, and then stuck it over here because I noticed the Michael Myers stuff is over there, although there's a couple more masks there. Holy crap, Michael Myers is everywhere. And then they hung it right over this pig mask. And let's take that right back off there, because I want to look at the pig. I thought maybe that was a uh, The Butcher mask, <laughs> but I don't think it is. I think I saw it like a full head butcher mask somewhere, at least in one of the stores. And I don't see it in here, at least at the moment. Although here's a pretty cool looking happy clown. That kind of reminds me of the newest Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin in Woonsocket. 
So yeah, over here at least I don't see a butcher mask, but I know that they have the butcher costume. So let's go on over here for a minute towards the costumes and see if we can find it over here. I love the setup of this store, guys. It's coves everywhere you look. Cove over there, cove over there, cove back there. Yep, here it is, guys, right here, the pig butcher. I knew they had a costume. We gotta find the mask, though. I don't know if they have the mask, but they definitely have. The... Oh, look, the mask comes with it. That's pretty cool. All right, full butcher costume. Okay, this is something that I don't think I've filmed yet, but it's just like basic stuff that you can use to dress up for Halloween um, without putting a whole lot of effort in it. These are kind of cool. Look, we got a pumpkin poncho, a silver spiderweb poncho, and all you have to do is like toss it over your head. If you're one of those people who doesn't really want to dress up for the Halloween party, just toss the poncho on. We got a bat poncho. Ooh, she's got purple hair. Okay. Spider web leggings, which would actually look totally awesome with any of these, and that's easy too. And then look at this a bat dress. I absolutely love the bat dress. Look, the arms, the sleeves are like bat wings. And then here's just a basic Halloween jersey, black and orange striped. We gotta look at these shirts too. Look at this. Let's get smashed. A winking pumpkin. Okay, that's yeah, we're just gonna say he's winking. There's a pumpkin creeping it real this is one of my favorite ones i love this and this is a totally sweet pumpkin shirt look at that little pumpkies all over it and i want to see one of you guys wearing this look at this it's a total pumpkin suit is it the whole suit all right let's look yes it is a complete suit somebody has to get this put it on and take a picture and post it on my facebook page look it even comes with a tie oh look at this guys this is the first place where i've seen both the jumbo mask and the jumbo suit so if you want to be jumbo here's your chance i absolutely love these socks guys which is why i bought them the other day <laughs> but it's funny because look how skinny his face is but when i put him on his whole face stretches out on my big calves Here's the Jason shirt that we saw in the other store. You know, I'm really excited to see, like, once everything finally shows up, all these trucks that are having such trouble getting here, I want to see all the new stuff. I cannot wait to see what starts filling these shelves and walls. Look at this sweet vampire mask from Trick or Treat. That is awesome. Oh, look at this. This is sweet. I don't think I've seen this before. A Trick or Treat treat bag. Sam's burlap sack for trick-or-treating. That's cool. You could put heads in there, too. Somebody asked me to look at the Harry Potter stuff, too. So here we got a whole bunch of stuff. Look, ties from all the houses. Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. Man, they got a great selection of Harry Potter stuff. It's not very often you see all four of the houses in these stores together. They usually have, like, two or three of them. Look, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. We got Harry's glasses, socks from all the houses. We got robes here. Here's a v-neck sweater. Hermione's skirt. And then this looks like a one-piece Hermione suit with the shirt and the skirt all together. Hats, tattoos, and iron-on patches. How cool is that? Wenda. What in the world? I've never heard of Wenda. I've heard of Where's Waldo, and he's right here. But I've never heard of Wenda. I guess that's because they never found her. Here, look at this. We got a cat in a hat tutu. Thing one and two rompers. Thing wigs. Thing curls. Cat in a hat deluxe hat. Oh, look at this. They got the cat in a hat jumpsuit. Cat in a hat tights. Thing leg warmers. Here's a giant bow tie. Look, thing one and thing two socks. These are awesome. All right, let's look in these little coves back here. Let's start over here with the accessories. Here's everything you need if you want to dress like an angel. They have different types of angel wings here. Look, they got a halo. Or the black wings if you want to be a fallen angel. Red wings if you want to be evil. A blind mouse costume. That's hilarious. Glasses, a tail. What in the heck is that? Nunchucks? Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. It's a cane. It's not nunchucks. Okay, let's go in the other cove here and look at some of these inflatable costumes back here. I've pointed this one out several times. I love this one. The inflatable balloon animal. I love how it's so shiny too. Too. Do you guys remember the uh, the balloon animal running around in one of the Night at the Museum movies? That never really made any sense to me, because why would an inflatable dog be at a museum? We got the inflatable chicken, inflatable dinosaur, and another one of my favorites, the inflatable wavy arms guy. Look at an inflatable grandma! 
Wait, is she inflatable? <laughs> what the heck? I'm such a nerd. No, the grandma is not inflatable, but she does have a big padded butt. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this costume before. Wild West? This is actually pretty cool. This is another cool one. The peanut butter and jelly couples costume. The party pooper. Oh, and milk and cookies. I could go for a giant cookie right now. This is actually a pretty good sized store, guys. From all the little coves. Oh, and look, I almost forgot about this guy here. The deadhead baby on a skin stick. That has got to be the funniest prop I've seen this year, guys. How crazy is that? Here's a ton of weapons back here. We'll save that for another video, though. I can't do everything in each video. More weapons here. Just all kinds of stuff in this store, guys. This is one of the biggest ones I've been in so far this year. And I hardly even touched this cove over here, but it looks like they're still waiting for a lot of stuff to arrive in here. I do like this, though. The two zombie lawn stakes with the hands that stick up. And look at this. We have the lone arm like it's been cut off or chewed off by a shark and we got zero with the pumpkin on his nose and i definitely have to get something today so i'm gonna get these michael myers socks these are so cool especially because i'm wearing my michael myers shirt today all right guys it seems in these stores i have to just pick little places to put the stickers that are random, because nobody has a bucket this year like Charlie last year. Stickers, stickers. We'll put some on the astronaut helmet. We'll put some over here by the Huntress. We'll put a couple by Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Here's a couple for Sam. And we'll leave some for Wacky, since he's so wacky. All right, guys, that is it for the Wound Socket Rhode Island Spirit Halloween. I got my Michael Myers socks, and I am excited. And stick around. Make sure you subscribe. We're on to the next one. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs>